So in our study we found a number of things. Uh, the most important finding probably is that if you use chemotherapy prior to surgery in patients with relatively large tumors, we found one subset of breast cancer cases that does not benefit from chemotherapy at all. So the chemotherapy is given without any good reason and we can spare treatment for our patients in the future. Second, we found that these patients, in spite of having no benefit of chemotherapy, the outcome actually remains very good even five years later. So they barely have any recurrences, which is a good thing. Finally, we found, we found one more thing. The other subsets of breast cancer, which do benefit from chemotherapy, benefit particularly then if they have a complete disappearance of their cancer prior to surgery because their outcome five years later is outstanding without any recurrences. So molecular profiling in breast cancer is a concept which has been around for probably 10 years or so. It has been discovered in 2000 and described and we use it in research quite frequently. Uh, but it is much more difficult to do it on a daily basis and use molecular profiling as a standard treatment. So there are at least four or five different subsets of breast cancers that behave differently. Uh, the treatment will be different and outcome will be different depending on the molecular pathway. We use the molecular profiling on these patients just prior to starting any treatment. So when a patient had their biopsies to be unfortunately diagnosed with breast cancer, we took a piece of their tissue after consenting the patient and did a molecular test and discovered these different pathways uh, that uh, we uh, can utilize. And only then we used chemotherapy with some biologic treatments on top of it and surgery after. So the events were reversed. Usually you know that surgery is being done first and then we use other treatments.